Hello guys, I'm Zakir. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to design a drop down and also how to add the component state for the drop down interaction in Adobe XD. Let's start today's tutorial. Let's drag this rectangle to draw the button onto the artboard. Give a width of 360 and also add the height of 80 px. Let's align this button into the center of the artboard. Let's zoom it onto the artboard. Let's change the fill color to a lighter gray color. Perfect. And let's remove the border. Add 8 px of border radius. Perfect. Let's drag this text tool to add the label. So, alert drop down has been label. Let's make it capitalize. Align this text with the button and also give 32 px of padding towards the left of the text perfect go to assets drag this drop icon onto the button and send it to right and give 32 px of padding towards the right of the icon align this icon with the center of the button cool now we have uh, our button now let's add the drop down panel Let's duplicate our button by pressing Ctrl D on your Windows and Command D on your Mac. Perfect. And let's drag this panel to 210 of height. Cool. And let's delete this icon. Go to repeat create. And repeat your labels to three times. And maintain 24 px of space in between the labels i mean uh, item list items and group them rename the text to a list item one copy this text go to second list item make it item two and also item three perfect now let's group our button with the panel by control g and here we have to send this the bottom panel uh, behind the button if you click on right if you right click on the panel you'll find the arrange option in that you can find send to back option perfect let's group the button and also the drop down panel now let's go to component state click on the component you will find the default state here if you click on this plus icon you will find a new state and let's add a closed state perfect in close state i want to close this panel by moving on the top of the button cool now we have to uh, reduce the height of the bottom panel so this is how it works perfect when you click on the default state you can find the open panel when you click on the close pan close state you will find the close drop down button okay now when i click on default state my icon should should be face towards top and let's do that let's move our icon on to the top by giving no uh will will add 90 360 no 240 mm, let's make 180 degrees perfect so so this is a default state when I click on close state this icon should have a zero uh, rotate option so you can see the button is getting changed so to add this interaction we have to go to prototype click on the button so let's add the interaction here for the close button so you can see the trigger here this trigger will interact with this whole uh, component uh, go to interaction the interaction will type the trigger option to tab and my action type to auto animate a destination to a default state and easing to snap and duration to 0.4 seconds let's go to default state 
click on the interaction click on the interaction so interaction we're going to add the trigger to tap action type to auto animate and the destination to close easing to snap and duration to 0.4 seconds so let's check the prototype now we'll preview this interaction in the prototype option on the right side on the top and above you'll find the desktop preview let's click preview this button let's click on it so you can see how the collapse is working with the drop down it's perfectly giving a beautiful transition effect by using the component state and also the auto animate state on adobe xd if you like this video please do like and also subscribe my channel thanks for watching this tutorial